Hello, and welcome back to the channel. This is a new video uh, starring Dome Keeper. And it's a special one because I'm using the Artillery Dome. One of the two new domes uh, that came with a free update. It's been a couple weeks at this point. Almost. Um, I've really been enjoying it. I haven't had found, I should say, the same success uh, that I've had with the sword. The sword is a really powerful dome. Uh, but I... Uh, that doesn't matter. I still enjoyed it, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying trying to figure it out, you could say. Uh, today, uh, for those who uh, haven't played Dome Keeper or don't know much about it, I'm playing Prestige Mode, uh, Fixed Cobalt. Uh, and what, that, what this mode is, is you collect all resources and you're trying to send resources back to uh, what is it your home planet and um, you're trying to uh, get your multiplier the two numbers you see in the bottom left right now it says one star one think of the stars times um, trying to get those multipliers as high as you can so the map doesn't spawn with cobalt uh, but you're given 10 at the start so the thing is, you can send as much cobalt as you want to the multiplier. And um, so you have to decide how much you want to use for healing, as well as uh, how much you want to put your multiplier. I enjoy putting using all my cobalt and putting it to the multiplier rather than save any for healing. Um, last season that proved to be the best strategy um, and I think this season it will even more so um, uh, be the uh, best strategy. One of the reasons for that being dome supplements. That's one of the new things that came with this update. Uh, dome supplements you can find just like a relic. Um, you'll have to uh, feed it one water and that's what unlocks it. The one dome supplement that I think is, as of right now is best for fixed cobalt. It's called Dome Resurrection. What that does is when your dome reaches zero health, it automatically resurrects it and gives it max health. Uh, then that supplement's done. Uh, but uh, for fixed cobalt, that is pretty big game changer. So it makes it even more worth it not to use any cobalt to your multiplier um, and just use dome resurrection. So yeah. What are some of the things that we'll talk about for this video? Uh, I thought it'd be nice to, as the video plays, just talk about some of my strategies that uh, I employ. Um, such as looking for cobalt. And what goes through my mind when I look for cobalt um, so I can find it and not waste that much time. Uh, yeah. Another thing I'd like to talk about is the sword dome versus the artillery dome. Uh, the way the sword dome is different than the artillery dome is also similar in the way that the sword dome is different than any other dome. So I'll share to you what I mean by that. Uh, it, it's really what makes, what still separates the sword out from every other dome and what makes it really powerful. I'll also go through the upgrade, uh, suggested upgrade order for the artillery dome. And, um, and I will continue to compare it with the sword dome. 
um, because it, it's just a lot different. You have to play the game a lot differently. Uh, it's been, it's taken me a bit to really understand the artillery dome. I've had to practice it a lot. Um, but I found a strategy that, where I found some success. Um, has it been as much success as I found with the sword? No. But, you know, we'll, we'll go from there, from here, and we'll see how far we can go. How far we can take the artillery down. So, yeah. So, I'll get to that, but let's think about the mining first. If I can, my goal is to find two uh, clusters of iron uh, every resource collection wave. That doesn't happen every wave, but that's the goal in my mind as I play each wave. Uh, and if I have a wave where I get one cluster and I do other things like grab a relic or grab that supplement, then I still feel productive, you know. Uh, so here I'm getting the converter. Still, that's the best strategy at this point is to get converter first. Um, you might even be able to swap out the converter for condenser. But generally, yeah, you want to get the converter first. Uh, and start getting those uh, loads of iron. Get that extra iron for each wave. Battle tips, here we go. Uh, see that rock man? Uh, an unupgraded artillery takes two hits uh, to kill that guy. Um, a walker? Uh, it takes one hit if you hit him directly with the shell, uh, but two splash damage to kill the walker. Now back to the mining here. Um, just trying to get the iron intake going still. And really, just as importantly, I'm trying to find the extra cave. Because that's the cave that I assigned to find in the second layer. So... The Assessor is pretty, uh, he's pretty good at uh, having the ability to find it because he can just cover so much ground, a lot more ground than the uh, Engineer can cover. We didn't find it this wave, which is pretty unfortunate because you can see that we've already covered a lot of the brown layer. Uh, it's kind of annoying when you've gone through this much of the lair and you still haven't found it, but whatever, you just gotta move on. I did get the second gadget, which is the condenser, and the condenser is pretty important uh, to be getting your water intake as uh, quickly as possible. Uh, water intake is important because uh, at the beginning it affects your multiplier, how much you can send. Um, later on, you buy upgrades for your auto cannon or your stun laser, whatever one you have. Um, let's see, for the setup, ah, uh, yeah, I chose a stun laser. Um, that seems to be the better choice. Yeah, stun laser. I tried the auto cannon, but I don't know. It just didn't seem as good. Honestly, I don't really know for sure whether one is better than the other, but Stun Laser is really powerful because it can destroy huge herds of ticks, uh, just like that, um, and it can stun just a bunch of enemies at once, too. So, it's really powerful. One reason why I was considering going Auto Cannon for the art Artillery Dome is because of Divers. Um, yeah, divers are literally the artillery uh, dome's biggest weakness. If you get like two divers spawning pretty much simultaneously, coming from the left and the right, uh, it's going to be hard to defend it. Um, and right now there's no clear way of having a sure 
having a sure way of defending that. So, uh, it's kind of where we're at with the artillery dome. It has definite weaknesses. And so let's talk about those weaknesses now. Uh, one of the big differences that I mentioned earlier between the sword dome and the artillery and every other dome is that with the sword dome, you can arrive late to pretty much every battle. What does that mean? Well, that's basically for the sword dome, it's free mining time every wave. You don't have to pay for it. And if you're too late for it, if you're too late, you pay for it with your health. But, um, yeah, it's something you don't have to buy. It's just a natural advantage that the sword has. Now, how can you arrive late with the sword? Well, uh, the sword, its main advantage is its melee capabilities. When enemies get close to it, if you have the sword upgraded enough, it can obliterate uh, cr close range enemies. Um, that's something that the laser struggles with. Uh, artillery dome, you don't want to arrive late because you kind of need to start shooting. Um, I think the Tesla dome, you want to arrive early even. Um, yeah, so what do you want to do as the artillery dome user? Uh, you want to arrive uh, to battle early. And you need to upgrade your weapon a lot quicker than if you were playing with the sword. With the sword you can... Uh, I can generally get away with going to wave 6 possibly, maybe even 7 without upgrading my weapon at all. In the artillery dome you want to upgrade that a lot sooner. Uh, maybe as early as wave 4. A change that they made to this season that I haven't really felt is that at least this is something I heard they made it so each resource collection wave it takes or you have less time to collect resources and I haven't really noticed that at all um, but the reason why is because I haven't even played the sword dome um, all I've played is the artillery and um, at the beginning of this season, I played probably a few runs, and then I took a break from this game for like a week or so. Um, so I haven't really had a good feel on um, the pacing of this game. Uh, but yeah, apparently there's a little bit less time for each way. Uh, I'm not sure, exactly sure how that will affect gameplay I suppose um, I think it naturally gives more power or it's a natural buff to the orchard gadget which uh, I think is awesome in fact I have played the orchard gadget and the assessor on orchard fruit is one of the more awesome things uh, you can mine so fast it's it's really insane um, I'm still not sure if it's worth it, but, uh, you know, I just got to wait on things. Maybe figure out how to make it worth it. Maybe in Countdown it'll be worth it now. I don't know. Um, a lot of things still need to be tested. Uh, the dome supplements. Um, the honestly, personally, I think that's a huge, huge game changer. It's certainly changed the way you think about the strategy of this game now. So what are the... Uh, I believe there's six dome supplements that you can use, uh, that you can find. And if you have pro mode, um, which you can unlock if you earn a thousand points in prestige mode. If you have pro mode, you can select which one you want to find when you do a run, whether it's fixed cobalt, endless, or minor mode or or uh what's the other one um countdown yeah so the the one that i already talked about is resurrection that one's the obvious uh easy one to see um that 
it's just really good. Um, the others, um, you have to do a little bit more thinking. Um, but yeah, the what do you call it? The resurrection is apparent. Like it's very apparent how powerful it is, especially in fixed cobalt. I think right now that's just the one you choose for, for fixed cobalt. Um, the other ones are. Uh, I don't know the name of it. I'll call it the electric fence. Uh, anytime a monster uh, melee attacks your dome, like it hurts them. There is the, I think it's called hole hardening. So it protects your dome against projectiles better. There's scrap repair. And that allows you to use your iron, I believe. I haven't tried it out yet, so this is some guesswork here. But I think you can use your iron to repair. It does lower your health, but there's a way you can get it back, um, and I'm not quite sure uh, how you do it. And then there is the other one, used to go by the name of uh, uh, Impact Recuperation, but now it's called Combat Repair. And that one is if you the initial up when you initially find it what it does for you is if you take 400 damage uh, uh, if you take 400 damage it gives you 200 health uh, and if you upgrade the uh, if you get the upgrade I don't know how much cobalt you have to spend but it upgrades it so if you get 200 damage you get 200 health so it's a pretty powerful one as well so the electric fence one that I was talking about where anytime an enemy melee hits hits you with a melee attack, it hurts them. I have pretty cool idea I want to try. I'm not gonna say it in this video, because I'd like to uh, release it in, into a video. <laughs> uh, I just think it's a cool idea. I don't know if anybody in the Discord has considered it, but um, yeah, I'm interested to see if it works. So keep an eye out for um, that video. And as you can see here, I've been trying to work on my tree uh, to make it so it's efficient as possible. So it takes as little as turns as possible to reach the resources. I think in this update, I'm not quite certain, but I think in this update, um, they changed it so the worm attack. It's, there's little or time, a literal, a smaller interval, interval between its rock throws. And um, I think, uh, I think they made that choice because, possibly because of what I was doing. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you could see that uh, uh, I would choose a worm battle, and in between rock throws, I would um, mine like what I'm doing right now, except I do it in between rock throws, which I'm totally fine with. I I didn't enjoy those battles. It just felt like it was just wasn't fun gameplay. So I'm glad that that exploit's kind of taken care of. Uh, another thing that popped in my mind is last season and um, it was a long season. It was it was fun. I think it lasted um, basically it lasted twice as long I believe. It lasted about four months and each season prior lasted about two months. One thing, or for most of last season, it was interesting. I held uh, the world records for a large period of that time for mining mode, countdown, fixed cobalt, and uh, endless. At one point, Zimni uh, took the endless endless score away, um, and I was able to take it back after like maybe a month or so. Um, and I held four prestige mode records for a long time 
Uh, and then Mr. Man came along and took them all away. <laughs> um, uh, the season ended with Mr. Man. He took the endless world record with a score of, what was it, 240,000? Was it 242,000? Something like that. Uh, a pretty amazing run, actually. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should go take a look. It's... Um, especially, I remember just watching the last few battles, and I was like, holy cow. Um, he didn't need to use nearly as much health as you generally have to at that late stage in the game. Um, so go ahead and... I, he has it posted on his YouTube channel, Mr. Man. So if you'd like to see that world record, I encourage you to take a look at it. Um, yeah, and the countdown world record, um, uh, he took that from me, and then I took it back, uh, and then he took it back, and um, I, I did try to get it back. Um, I, I, there was one run where I was on pace to get 14k. And I ended up dying. And, um... It's... I should have just not been greedy. And that's... That's... that's Probably the biggest reason why I just didn't get it. Because I was greedy. Um, I sent an iron multiplier. When I probably just should have waited a wave. Um, because I was still on pace to beat a record. But, oh well, that's kind of how Dome Keeper goes. Um, yeah. And then Lot, Lot Millie. I'm not sure where he's from. If he's from Japan or... I forget, some other Asian country. But he took the fixed Cobalt World Record. It's pretty cool. He's a player that... I think came around on... What? Season 2? Maybe Season 3? So it was cool to see him come back and take a record. Uh, and then Zimmy, who... He was in the trenches, man. He was, uh... Trying... Pouring his heart <laughs> into... Uh, minor mode. And he was able to just, um, Find, uh, an incredible new mining strategy. Um... That, uh... It's very effective. And, um... Seems... Like it has a certain amount of consistency too. So I encourage you to check out his channel. I believe his channel name is Zimni11. So if you want to see the minor mode world record, uh, it's a pretty uh, yeah, it's a pretty good one. So that's how it goes, you know. Oh well, um, it was. I enjoyed that season, you know, I don't have any regrets, um, and I think that's, that's something I do remind myself of, um, because I can become a pretty competitive person, but I think what is more important for me and my mental, <laughs> and my mental health is to, uh, just to try to enjoy the game and uh, not worry about uh, records that much. Although it is fun to get the world record when you can. So, for this season, um, my intent is to try to, is to try to cool off a little bit and not play as much. Uh, because season four, I definitely uh, played a lot, and uh, I did enjoy it. But um, yeah, I think it's time for me to just uh, take a little bit of a break. Uh, one thing that I I do enjoy a lot <laughs> with my videos that I make, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I, I enjoy drawing the thumbnails, and that's been part of the drive for me to. Uh, make videos is uh, see what cool looking thumbnail uh, I can make and uh, the one that I made for this video um, is one of my favorite maybe it's just because it's different because because uh, the artillery, artillery I can't say artillery 
I'm like, our artillery. Um, just drawing the explosions for the artillery dome. It just looks really good. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty... It's been really fun to learn how to draw and to see what cool things I can uh, make with my hands. And it's made me... Uh, I've considered making a different type of uh, dome keeper video. Um, it's it's more of an art video. Um, yeah, the program that I use to draw is called Procreate, and I draw on my iPad. Procreate is hands down just it's probably the best iPad drawing app. It just has so much awesome tools. Um, it took me a bit to, to learn them, and I'm still learning them because they're pretty comprehensive app. Um, but it's it's such it's a really good program. But anyways, the new video idea I had was uh, in the app you can watch a time lapse video of your drawing, so you can see all the different steps that you took to draw the video, and. Um, pretty entertaining I liked watching it just you could I could just see the progress I made and uh, and how I went about drawing uh, my picture yeah so I thought it would be cool just to share some of those videos all right so I think we're kind of nearing the last part of my commentary um, there is one more thing I wanted to talk about with uh, the artillery dome and um, it's the thing that has helped me find more success with it because it's been hard for me to really find something uh, battle wise that helps me um, get to the later stages of the game and so what I do or what I have found um, the tech choice that I choose is the uh, volatile explosives, and those are really good at splash damage. And the last two options you have for the volatile explosives, you can either buy the fast reload, where it takes you what a one and a half to two seconds to fire two shells, or it takes, you can have a quad shot, um, it takes, uh, I think it's a four second reload time, but um, the splash damage is bigger, and what else, the splash damage is bigger, the shells might have more damage, I'm not quite sure, uh, but there's a way that I use the quad shot that has uh, helped me find uh, the success I have in this game um, and it's arriving early at the battle something I do at the very beginning of the battle what I do is I aim to the right or left and I just hold down the fire button and I shoot two I aim upwards and shoot two to the left and as the left or as the second shot goes off, I swing my cannon to the right, and I'm able to fire two shots to the right. So, it's a really good way to start the battle, having two powerful shots, um, taking out enemies. And there's another thing that does. Um, another thing that has helped me is with the artillery cannon, if I fire shots up high, um, to the left and right to the edge of the, st of the stage uh, you can see my aim line right now it's pointed up higher and that allows me to be more prepared for the divers because that's a huge thing uh, those divers if you're aiming low with your AA gun um, you that's where you know you're finding yourself in danger because if a diver goes off and you're pointed at the wrong side um, that's a guaranteed hit. Uh, there might be an exploit, though, 
which I think I'll just say right now. But let's say you, you're using the artillery cannon, and you're shooting close to the ground because there's a beast that's on you or whatever. Um, so your cannon, it's aimed low. Let's say you see or you hear a diver. You know how that makes that shrieking sound? Um, I haven't done it yet, but this is kind of like theory crafting. If you hear the diver, uh, I think what I want to try to remember during that, that phase in the battle is quickly scanning what side the diver is coming from. Let's say the diver you realize, oh shoot, it's it's coming from the opposite side of aiming. So, like I said before, that's like a guaranteed hit, right? My idea would be to exit the control panel. And that makes it so when you enter back into the control panel, your artillery cannon will... Uh, it'll be pointed straight up. And so, depending on how fast your reaction time is, uh, you might be able to shoot the uh, the diver with your uh, with your AA gun, or at the very least, since you're pointing straight up, you can fire. If you have a quad shot ready to go or a double shot, you can just fire straight up, and there's a decent chance that the splash damage uh, will kill the diver. So. That's something uh, that's crossed my mind as I thought about the game while at work. <laughs> I seem to do that quite a bit while I'm working. I'll think about this game. Uh, so it just goes to show that there's a lot more development that can come into the meta when it, uh, in regards to the artillery. Um, on whole, I will say this. I think the artillery is behind uh, all the other domes. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure how far behind. Uh, maybe it's just behind because we haven't discovered what works well with it. Um, but I, I say this cautiously, I, I think it's behind all the other domes. I think one uh, thing that could help with that a lot is the shield dome gadget, the Electro Blast tech root. If that was buffed, I, I think that could help out the um, the artillery a lot. So the Electro Blast right now, it only has one use. And what Electro Blast does um, is it shoots uh, like an electric field and basically kills any melee units around you. So that is something that can help you take care of divers, right? Uh, but the problem is, if you only have one use, even when you max it out, uh, it's not gonna be good for the divers because that only takes care of one diver. And I'd rather get the reflect upgrade, which has three uses, so. Uh, honestly, if the shield, or sorry, if the uh, Electro Blast had three uses, you know, maybe the developer kind of toned it down a little bit just to make it um, reasonable to have three uses. Uh, I think that could be pretty awesome um, ability for the artillery gun. Okay, I think that does it. Thanks for watching and listening to me. Um, I hope you're enjoying playing this game as much as I am. I have just certainly enjoyed uh, trying to figure out what works uh, and to learn the new strategies that come with the dome supplements. That's been fun too. So, I uh, hope you all are doing well. I know the world can be a crazy place. I'll take care and I'll uh, see you later.